Hello hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader Jay. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries in April 2021. What's going on Aries? How are you guys doing? I hope that you guys are doing well. All right Aries, happy birthday friends. It is your season. We are in your zone. I hope wherever you are in the world and whatever, whenever your special day is, excuse me, I hope that you're able to celebrate with friends and family, people that you know and love. If you are getting together with people, please take all those precautions that are necessary. Still not quite out of the woods from this wonderful pandemic that has uh, graced us all. I'm being sarcastic. It hasn't been fun. Um, but anyway, again, happy birthday to you guys, uh, wherever you are in the world. I hope you are safe, happy, healthy, and secure. Continue to take very good care of yourselves and those that you know and love, okay? Uh, Aries, quick announcement here at the top, since it is your birthday season, I will be going live for you guys on April the 10th, this Saturday at 7 p.m. on this channel, uh, Eastern Standard Time. If you're free, if you want to come hang out, if you want to see me, if you want to ask me a question and, and, and uh, look for me to uh, answer it through your tarot, no, excuse me, through some tarot decks, I would be glad to do that work for you, okay? Um, also, check your playlist for 2021. You're going to see your birthday message in there. Um, and you're going to see your March readings because that's the beginning of your season. And then um, this April reading and your mid-April and all that stuff, okay? So make sure you make, sh uh, make sure that you check out your playlist uh, when you want to see your content, okay? Aries, we're going to do a standard, hopefully. <laughs> it depends on how many cards come out. But we're going to do a, a six-card spread for you guys. Uh, we'll do some overall energy. And then we'll also end with a an oracle card for one of the decks I've pre-selected. So let's just go ahead and start with this initial reading and then we'll build upon it to get those six cards, okay? So first card which came face down was the Five of Cups. So you've got the Five of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Page of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Could be dealing with the Water Sign, but you don't have to be. Um, I feel like some of you are dealing with a, a, <laughs> a person and they have disappointed you or you have disappointed them. Um, five of Cups, a little bit of sorrow there, a little bit of spilt milk over here. And, you know, traditionally in this, in, in, in tarot, the Five of Cups, that spilt milk adage is basically saying, you know, it's not as bad as it could be. But for some of you, or you're dealing with, some, you know, it could be vice versa. This is how you feel or someone else feels. That doesn't really wash. <laughs> Somebody is really, really... Uh, I'm getting this feeling of like devastated mm, feel like this 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 sensation is coming through of like a surprise but not a good surprise a bad surprise okay <laughs> um and possibly like a sucker punch you know somebody feels like you know someone did or said something that was underhanded that was dirty that was sneaky that was deceptive seven of swords energy is where this is coming from in combination with the five of cups so you don't have cards of traditional betrayal out here, but I do get this sense of like a double cross or like, again, lies, deception, uh, being told something was going to happen one way and then it went the opposite way. And that's crushing to somebody or again, spilt milk. It's like the worst, they perceive it as the worst thing that could happen. Uh, Aries, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but tarot and tarot is not science. It's not, you know, here to rule your life it's only to shed some light in, into areas where maybe you're you know needing advice or you're unsure of something the five of cups comes through and it says listen that does suck whatever you're observing because look at how the owl with its face is looking towards the seven of swords so there is an acknowledgement that what you're looking at what you're paying attention to seven of swords energy deception deceptive energy lies manipulation all that kind of stuff Yes, that sucks. But if you look at this card, since it's an owl, he's got, or she or he has three cracked eggs, but two eggs still remain. So there is something to salvage in the situation, Aries, um, for you or somebody else. But there's a reluctance or an inability to appreciate that right now, to be grateful of that right now, to, to even recognize it. Because again, the owl is looking this way. No attention being paid to those two eggs that are still intact. So this could be 
uh, for all intents, <laughs> not all intents and purposes, but playing off of the, the illustration here with the owl and there being in a nest. This could be someone is neglecting their family, neglecting their children at this time, paying more attention to something that has offended them or a person perhaps that has offended them. Page of Cups on the end there, Seven of Swords with the Page of Cups, a particular person who has disappointed them. And uh, again, unfortunately, the children might be neglected at this time. Not like, you know, abused or anything like that. Just like, you know, your kids might have certain needs. I want to go here or I need help with homework or I'm going through something or I just I just want your attention. I just want to, you know, play games or watch, you know, Frozen for the 50 millionth time with my parents or my mom or my dad or whoever, but they're too busy being stressed out because of this. You know, what that is, maybe we'll find out about it. Or again, it's your life or somebody else's life areas. There might be already uh, understood might already be understood what the Seven of Swords is, okay? Um, so the Five of Cups, again, uh, in tarot, crying over spilled milk, take it with a grain of salt. I'm not trying to dismiss what's going on or how you or somebody else feels, but also note that fives in tarot are challenges. They're, they're, they're sometimes uh, can be mini chaos energy, like small bits of chaos or contained uh, uh, situations and, and circumstances that feel chaotic to us. So... Um, but it's surmountable. The fives are always surmountable. They're always something that can be overcome. It just takes a certain level of perseverance, a certain uh, strategy or solution that hasn't been looked at, again, because the owl is looking away from those two eggs or those two cups in the traditional tarot that are still upstanding. Um, so for now, I think someone is, is kind of <sighs> wallowing you know, I do get the sense of whoever's in the Five of Cups, they're wallowing and, they, and they're and they not really consolable at this time because, again, it feels like to them a sucker punch. They didn't expect someone, Page of Cups perhaps, to betray them, to lie to them, to manipulate them, to lead them astray. Um, in some cases, because the Page of Cups in this illustration is sort of turning away from us. So this could be someone reneging on a deal, reneging on a promise, reneging on anything. You know, is this person in this card is, is being possibly perceived as turning their back on a situation, turning their back on a promise, or in some cases, just straight up, again, lying about something. That didn't have to be lied about. I have to, I, I do feel that because the five... Again, because it's a cha it's a challenge, but again, it's it's surmountable, it's fixable, or or it doesn't have to be that way. That's also sometimes the sevens. It doesn't have to go a particular way. There are choices, there are options with sevens usually. Um, so it feels like someone didn't have to do what they did, say what they said, but they they've done it, and there's no going back from that. There's no taking it back. Possibly there might not be an apology because again, this page in this particular deck is turned away from the viewer, turned away from this Seven of Swords energy, turned away from the Five of Cups energy and is proceeding away. So it could be, in some cases, uh, Aries, someone just straight up ghosts. Because that's also what happens if you look at the Seven of, if you look at the Seven of Swords energy, uh, card I should say. So the, we've got this guy in the foreground sneaking off with swords and in the background there's like a village or like a carnival or something that's on fire. So where there's chaos and confusion and where there possibly is a, is, is a, is a chance for someone to take helpful action or intervening action, you know, maybe call a fire department, maybe, you know, throw a bucket of water on a tent, do something. Someone is slinking away. So when the going gets tough, perhaps someone walks away. When, when it's time to show up and be a part of a team, be part of a, a, be part of a solution, be part of a family, whatever this is, somebody chooses to go the other way. Now the Page of Cups, they don't have to be a water sign. They don't have to be a young person. Pages do indicate young energy or immature energy, often uh, energy that has yet to experience much or grow up. But again, we don't have to be talking about a young person. This page could be 50 something years old in physical age, but they might, again, carry the energy marker of a page. OK, uh, this person. In several of your cases, not all, does not mean any harm, does not want there to be trouble, does not want there to be uh, anger, frustration with them or with the situation. But they don't know what else to do. Like their solution is to run and hide. 
their way of helping is to tuck their tail between their legs and scurry off to a dark corner, to a dark cave, never to be heard of again, or to be forgotten for a while before they reemerge and come back with a, with sort of like a, a sad lamenting story of what they were, why they were so incapable and how they were so afraid or how they were so uh, overwhelmed in the situation. You know, basically the long and the short of it is this person over here, regardless of, again, their physical age of who they are in your situation, friend, family, lover, otherwise, it feels like somebody who has a lot of excuses because again, they come through with page image, uh, energy, immature, inexperienced. Yes. So somebody who possibly, again, made a lot of promises that they could not keep. And they knew they couldn't keep them or it is becoming very clear that they cannot keep them and they're ashamed many in many cases they're ashamed they're embarrassed uh, they they feel bad but they're not going to tell you or tell whoever else that oh i feel really bad about what i did or i feel bad about what i couldn't do etc etc so instead of facing up to the facing the music facing the situation they choose to walk off okay uh, let's get further information here for Aries. This doesn't bode well, uh, but let's see what else comes out here. So what else can we tell Aries regarding the situation? Give me further advice, or excuse me, further information regarding the situation for Aries. What else can we tell Aries regarding the situation? Show me. Ace of Swords. right yeah yes okay bottom of the deck two of Pentacles <sighs> so ace of swords seven of cups again and an ace of wands okay so I immediately get this sense of like go your separate ways Ace, Ace of Swords here, Ace of Wands over here. Two diverging paths, two different approaches to the situation. That's just what I feel. It, we'll, we'll see if that is actually um, compounded with the, the deeper message. So, Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands. I feel like for some of you, this is a relationship of any type, you know, dating, professional, family, something like that uh splintered it's it's very evident that someone here was just not what they claimed to be could not perform the duties the tasks that were called upon for them in a job situation a family situation a dating situation whatever and so uh, there isn't much willfulness here to 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 actually commit to the to working it out you know when the going gets tough this person or someone in the situation gets going seven of cups i think possibly seven of cups seven of swords someone again i i think i used this word before overwhelmed you know if it's, if this is if this is a serious situation at work Let's say there's a discrepancy or let's say there is an audit or in whatever line of work you're doing and something really big and heavy befalls this person, comes down on their head, comes down and has to be worked out on their team within their department. This person, they just, they crumble under pressure. They crack under pressure. Somebody here is unable to make good decisions. Seven of swords, seven of cups. They don't really know where they stand or how to be effective in the situation. And th this could all be one person is this is kind of late. This could all be one person because again, there's this, what we talked about earlier with the five of cups dwelling, wallowing, maybe it's not someone is wallowing or dwelling on what someone else did to them. It could be someone is wallowing and dwelling on what they did to themselves or how they affected the situation. And again, this inability to focus on what's left, to focus on alternative solutions, to focus on what has not been lost is not 
the, it's not what someone is capable of doing. Again, the owl is looking strictly at the Seven of Swords and in a distance looking at the Page of Cups. So someone here, it could be their own energy, could be a friend of yours, Le uh, or excuse me, Aries, could be you, could be your, your brother, your sister, your aunt, your uncle, your husband, your wife, whoever. So you could be witnessing someone spiraling, okay? It doesn't have to be you or them, you know, whatever. And I feel someone here possibly, I'm getting with this Seven of Cups energy, is an indulgent person. With so many choices, someone might use escapism to avoid making hard choices, to avoid uh, really analyzing the details of a situation because, you know, I don't know about you. You know, okay, <laughs> a quick little, like, I guess analogy or something that I think several of us could relate to. You know how sometimes you go into Netflix or you go into any streaming service, and you're like, oh, I want to watch something. But because it's so many choices, hundreds of choices, if not thousands of choices on what you could watch, you could watch a comedy, you could watch drama, you could watch a horror movie, you could watch a documentary, you could watch so many things, right? And you know you want to watch something, but you don't know what you want to watch. And because there's so many choices, hundreds, hundreds, if not thousands, you end up choosing nothing. You end up closing it out and going and doing something else, or you end up putting something on that you've already watched before just to fill the time, just to fill the space. You get what I mean? So there's someone here who has that kind of uh, perception or, or position in whatever situation this is. And on either side of them is this call or a desire or an acknowledgement of, yes, I must be decisive, Ace of Swords. Yes, I must take definitive action, Ace of Wands. But in the center of it all is this feeling of ineptitude, this feeling of I can't do, I can't do, I don't know how, Page of Cups energy, Five of Cups energy. So I feel someone is vexed or you're vexed with someone's inability Aries, if, if, if again, this is a friend of yours, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your husband, your wife, whatever, your own, your friend, your spouse, your child, whoever, because it is a page of cups. So for some of you, you could be watching your child, not like a little kid, but like a child of yours who could be a full grown adult, but somebody who still, you know, hasn't figured it out, page of cups. Um, and they're possibly flailing, possibly, you know, having to face the music. There is a little bit in this energy I don't know where exactly it's coming from but in this energy Aries there is a little bit of like learning lessons and this being monumental or this being very formative for somebody like oh this is gonna be something that someone reflects back on is like okay remember when I didn't make decisions or remember when I made the wrong decisions or remember when I sat on my hands and I didn't do anything or remember when I walked away from a situation without any explanation that didn't end up going too well for me back in you know 2021 but now that it's 2027 I've learned something do you get what I mean and I'm saying 2027 very arbitrarily if it turns out something you know is 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 significant in that year <laughs> come back to this and let me know okay <laughs> but so I feel that someone here Aries simply uh just didn't have what it takes in a situation or does not have what it takes right now and for many they're going to walk off or they're going to disappear they're going to go you know hide in a in a cubby hole somewhere or they're going to continue in some of your cases they're going to continue to give up to give the lie because there is action or there is a there is sort of a aces represent potential and they re represent what we could have so you could have someone who doubles down on a lie doubles down on doubles or triples down thank you doubles or triples down on deception deceit um, somebody who possibly in the walking away energy that I get from the page of cups possibly never acknowledges their wrongdoing, never acknowledges that they put one foot out of place, one foot out of step, you know what I mean? And that could be devastating for you or someone else to witness. Okay. Um, and again, this is a late addition. Well, not late, but it's sort of tying back in with the family thing. And I said this earlier that someone might be looking over here and neglecting their children. So what you could have, just to make it simple, because there's two eggs over here and then the page again possibly represents a child. You could have three total children in the situation and one child 
no matter how old they are or what the situation is, I don't know the details, could be walking away, could be going through a very tr trying or, 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 or uh, I guess, formative challenge. And the parent has their energy on that one kid and the other children, the other two siblings are neglected at this time. And I don't know if that's good or bad. You know, I'm just, that's a potentiality here. And that could, you know, again, just, just what it feels like that could lead to, uh, some pretty burnt feelings is what it feels like. It could really agitate other people in the situation it, and, or it, 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 it's giving me this sense of like favoritism, like this might be viewed as favoritism. Okay. Um, the overall energy to a pentacles, again, decision making for you, for someone else, whoever is the quote unquote star or center of this reading, um, or several people, it doesn't have to be just one. It could be several people. Uh, decision making is crucial. Decision making is key. Um, it does have to do with value with the two of pentacles because pentacles is what we value is where we, uh, put our emphasis, our energy, our effort, our time, our money, things like that. So for you, for someone else, uh, in the situation Aries, this is calling for <sighs> priorities, priorities that are in line and choices that are in line with your value system. What in some of your cases, it's straight up monetary. It's straight up about money and finances, okay? So if this is about possibly choosing between, you know, if, if this has been the whole time about owning a small business and you've got one worker who's been a proven liar, been proven to be manipulating timesheets, whatever, you know, it might be time to let that person go. If they're a close friend of yours, a relative of yours, that might be hard to do. You get what I mean? Um, but you know, it's at the cost, at the neglect of other people who are in your employ. Does that make sense? So there are tough choices to be made here. Uh, but again, I think the key is to align it with your value system, your moral system, your moral compass, your value system in terms of what you value for your resources, for your finances, for your material life, things like that. Okay. Um, and also, you know, Again, under, underneath uh, what the pentacles can represent, it's not just money, it could be time, your energy. This could be very draining to you spiritually. And if you wanna retain yourself and maintain yourself in a healthy spiritual sense, you might need to cut people off or limit your interaction with them, something like that, okay? Let's get a card of advice for you from one of the four tarot decks, or excuse me, oracle decks that I have set aside already. I think it's gonna be, yep, it's gonna be messages, or excuse me, postcards from spirit. So let's get an oracle message for Aries and then we're going to wrap this up. And Aries, if this resonated with you, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave comments, do all that fun stuff. Helps your girls circulate around here in the YouTube algorithms, all right? One card for Aries of advice, please. One card of advice for Aries. All right, there it is. It's got a heart on the back, so that might be significant for some of you. And it says, Dearest you, did you know that when you stop fighting and accept everything exactly as it is right now, miracles start to happen? There is a freedom in this kind of radical acceptance. Let go of unrealistic expectations and see things as they really are, not how you'd like them to be. You'll be surprised at how everything seems to fall into place. When you refuse to accept things, life gets messy, you act messy, and your world stays in chaos, tension, and disarray. Five of Cups. But don't try to force a change or manipulate circumstances. Instead, learn about what is in front of you and face it with your eyes fully open. Page of Cups, Seven of Swords. Then you can decide, stay or go, Two of Pentacles. Sink or swim, Two of Pentacles. Move or stay still, Two of Pentacles. Accept in the, excuse me, acceptance is the key to freedom and opens the door to real opportunities waiting to be discovered. Set yourself and others free. Loving you so much, always and forever. So I'm going to hold that up to the camera. You can feel free once it's in focus to pause it and read it for yourself if you'd like. I think that's a pretty good takeaway for this reading for you guys, okay? Aries, um, again, 
uh, thank you so much for, not again, but thank you so much for watching this uh, video. The again is happy birthday. Uh, the, the again is also for uh, reminding you that your live will take place on April the 10th here on the channel at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. If you want to see me, if you want to ask me a question, drop on by. I'd be happy to do that work for you. If you want to get at me for a personal, just check the, the uh, description box below, okay? Aries, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.